All right, what you're gonna find I have here, and again, this is for demonstration purposes. Uh, when you lift that bowl, you're gonna see an old wax gasket that's all smushed down. It's been squeezed out, it formed a gasket. Now for demonstration purposes, this is a brand new gasket that I didn't uh, you know, have used you know, for the sake of not making a mess, but it's gonna be the same procedure. You're gonna have a smushed down wax gasket and you're gonna get your putty knife and you're gonna to proceed to scrape scrape, scrape all around, you'll scrape off that used wax. And at that point, you'll have a little residual on the flange here. So you'll have some wax here and you can just scrape that down and get it down, you know, as flat as you can or remove most of it and clean all around the interior of the flange. And you would just discard that into your, uh, into your five gallon bucket that you have handy. Then the next procedure would be, in preparation to put the new bowl on, naturally you would want to use new bolts. In this case, I have brand new bolts that have been cut. But on a, on a, on a change out, I recommend you use new bolts, and the new bolts are going to be longer, and you'll find that you're going to have to cut them after you install the bowl to accommodate the plastic caps. But we took our old bolts out, we put our new bolts in, and now it's time to uh, get our gasket, our new wax gasket. And again, I have this covered. I didn't take it out of its covered. Now, a lot of guys uh, feel that you should put this on the bottom of the bowl. There's a horn on the bottom of the bowl. There's a male horn that they slip this over. You know, all my life, I've been putting it on the flange. I set it on the flange like this. There's no right way and there's no wrong way. Um, you can certainly put it on the horn of the bowl before you lift it and put it down, or you can put it down here. This is my preferred method, but I, I leave that totally up to you. Now, at this stage, it's a matter of taking our bowl and setting it on top of the new wax. And I'm going to give you a demonstration of that uh, in, the, in, in the following video. All right, folks. Now we can imagine we have our wax gasket here. It's right there. I see it. I hope you do, too. At this stage, it's a matter of lifting up the bowl and setting it onto the flange and onto the wax gasket, uh, allowing the wax to actually squish and form its, it, a seal. So we're going to lift this up on top of the platform, and I'm going to straddle the bowl. And as you come down, you're going to feel resistance from the wax. That's fine. That's normal. Don't worry about it. As you come down, you're going to have to actually wiggle the bowl a little bit to actually squish out that wax. Now in the summer months it's relatively easy to do when it's winter time out. You may have to sit on the bowl to get that wax to squish out because it's cold. At this stage we're ready to bolt up and tie in our water supply. Okay, now we just reverse the procedure for the bolts and first things first uh, the plastic cap has a little retainer flange and it actually says on there this side up. So that would go on first, followed by the brass washer that comes with your bolts, with your new bolts. Okay. Now bear in mind, you're going to have taller bolts. The, the new bolts are going to be long, longer than what you need. And you're going to have to cut them to accommodate the cap. So at, at this stage, once you get your nut on and we tighten this down, Now this is china, it's porcelain. When we snug these down, we don't kill them because you'll crack it. You're gonna repeat the procedure for the other side, same thing. Put your little uh, retaining flange down, your brass washer, your nut. At this stage, you're gonna come in with your mini hacksaw and you're gonna cut the bolt. You cut the bolt. I, I cut it just above the top of the nut. I, I actually don't cut it flush. I cut it just above. I leave maybe two threads uh, for comfort's sake. At that stage, you can take your cap and snap it back on. Now we can take our water supply here up to the bottom, and these can go on. They have a plastic nut on them, and I usually make these just, just past hand tight. You can hold the valve on the inside of the tank with the other hand and just get that on there. 
at this stage we have both bolts on, we have the water supply um, tied in, and now it's time to turn the water on, and when we turn the water on, everything is counterclockwise now. So we're going to turn it on, and naturally you're not going to hear it because this is a demo board, but we can all use our imagination. Now our water is on, once the tank fills up, we'll flush it a couple of times, make sure we don't have any leaks, and, 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 and that's the procedure. Um, I'll check you out in the next segment. All right, last but not least, guys, after we've tested it, we've leak tested it, we're happy. The bowl's sitting nice and solid. We have no leaks. We're going to come in with some latex, a good quality latex caulk, and we're going to squeeze a bead underneath the, the, the bowl, between the bowl and the tile floor. Now, again, Imagineers, use your imagination. I mean, this is a wooden floor. This is not the case in the real world. It's going to be sitting on top of a ceramic tile floor. Once you squeeze your bead in there, what I do is I'll take my finger and actually squeeze it in there, get it in there real good, and my final stage is to get my sponge, wet it with some clean water, and, and just wipe it, wipe it down. And, and make a nice clean line all around the bowl. And uh, that's it, guys. Uh, again, no mystery. If you, if you follow the procedure step by step, uh, I, I doubt very much you're going to get stuck. But this is the procedure for removing and resetting uh, a tank and bowl. Now, what I'll do is I'm going to show you uh, in the next video uh, a situation where we're actually putting a new tank and bowl in, but I'll just pick it up from where we left off. I'm going to actually take the tank off of this bowl and just show you the extra procedure that's involved. Uh, when you put a new tank and bowl in, ultimately you put the bowl on first and then you have to mount the tank. And that's what I'll do is I'll go through the procedure for mounting the tank to the bowl. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got some useful information out of it. Uh, again, Bob's videos, uh, bobsplumbingvideos.com. Uh, I look forward to hearing from you. Uh, please email me with questions, info at bobsplumbingvideos.com. And I will see you in the next segment.